Hello, it's uh, minus 40 outside. I'm here on the sea ice. In the depths of a Nunavut winter, these scientists are coming in hot with their plan to save it. The climate issue is big and it needs big, bold solutions. UK company Real Ice wants to stop the melt of sea ice. The method, by drilling holes in the ice, which then floods the top of seawater. That freezes in the cold, thus thickening the ice and creating an insulating layer. Real ice trialled it last winter in Cambridge Bay over a football field sized area. We actually found that in our research area we had a growth of up to 50 centimetres. But that wouldn't have been possible without the help and support of community members like Pamela Nakashuk. The ice can get thicker than it would be very helpful for the caribou to cross. Now, Real Ice wants to expand that hydrogen power technology across the Arctic Ocean and return it to the state it was in decades ago. The feedback on the project from other sea ice scientists, though, is frosty. There are questions about how feasible it is to scale it up. It just seems impossible to me. Or whether it'll have a lasting impact. It's going to last maybe one or two years and then it's going to drift out, the ice is going to melt and you're going to, um, you know, it's going to drift into the Atlantic Ocean and then it's gone. Not to mention the effects on the ecosystem and of course whether the estimated $10 billion to cover the Arctic could be better spent on tackling the drivers of climate change. Realize acknowledges that. No doubt, that's the solution. However, that solution is so far away. And in the fight to save the planet, there's no time to waste. Samuel Watt, CBC News, Iqaluit.